Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Sports Factory Podcast. But we're going to have a good podcast today. We got some new people here. Greg, you're not new, but you've been here one time, right? So I'm counting you new. And then J6, you very new. You've never been here. Josh, his real name, Joshua, you never been here. But I know y'all also got y'all platforms, too. So if y'all want to shout out y'all platforms real quick, that can also help you out. You know what I'm saying? We're going to start off, start this thing off strong. So if you want to shout out yourself, go ahead. Uh, my name is Greg. Um, y'all can go follow me on the Play for Keys pod. Um, loving it up, talking about basketball, football, sports. Um, we talk about it all, so tap in with us. Hey, man, say, man, it's your boy H Times Grace. I go by J6. I love basketball, I love sports. Uh, I'm an entrepreneur, I'm an artist, poet, uh, business owner. Um, I'm just glad to be here. Appreciate you, Jesse. Yeah, I appreciate you having me here, bro. And Lewis, I know you got you, you got yourself, a, you got your YouTube channel too. So I'm gonna put that in the link. I'll put all this in the link <laughs> under the description. I'll put all these links in the description. Um, but you know, first topic I want to start off with, I gotta start from my man LeBron James. It's LeBron James, he made me laugh. Because when I saw him, he tweeted that thing about Bronny, right? And I saw it on my phone. Like on my phone, but it was on like the not- the Twitter notifications, and I saw that he had that tweet. I was like, he really tweeted that? And I pressed it, and it said, tweet deleted. I said, oh, why he go, he go delete before I can press somebody? I, I, I want to tweet stuff, but he, he deleted real quick. Um, that's hilarious. That got a lot of press. Before I say my take, because I do have a take on this, and I can run with it, but before I say my take, what do y'all think about LeBron doing that? What do you think about LeBron tweeting that? What do y'all think about it? And if you ain't got nothing, I'm, I got something. So. <laughs> Well, like well, first, first off, I was gonna say, what, what did the tweet say? So the tweet is like, I'm, I'm, I'm a paraphrase. It's not be word for word, but so LeBron was supposed to be in the 2024 NBA draft, right? But he's averaging five points per game. Now I'm not gonna hate him for averaging five points per game because he had an, uh, I won't say injury, but he had a medical scare a couple months ago, a few months mm-hmm. ago, right? So now instead of being a 2024 draft, he's gonna be in the 2025 draft. And LeBron was on Twitter saying, y'all saying this and that about my son. Let him be a kid. Let him, you know, let him enjoy mm-hmm. college. Let him be a kid. Something similar to that, right? So he was kind of, I don't know if he was taking a shot at the mock draft people or he was taking a shot at, like, just people in general, like Twitter and all people, you know, get on his son. But that's basically the gist of it. Now, my quick take is LeBron like you started this, bro. You definitely you did Lavar Ball type beat, bro. You started it, bro. The man literally said a couple like last year. He said, "Bro, my son is better than some of these NBA players." He tweeted that. That's ridiculous. That's a crazy statement. You remember this, right? You remember that, right? That's a crazy thing to say for some seventeen year old. You know what I'm saying? He going to prom and you saying that? That's kind of crazy, right? So now he's in the he's in college. He's averaging five points. He's not going to be LeBron James, right? I don't expect like you, you don't expect him to be that good. So I don't know, like, this is just kind of expected because obviously you don't get all this pressure because you're LeBron's son. You've been shoved down our throats for, like, 10-plus years, and then your, your dad is hyping you up saying you're better than NBA players, and now we realize you're not better than NBA players, and now he's throwing a hissy fit. I don't know. That's my, that's my take. LeBron, you, you kind of started this, but I don't know if y'all have a different opinion or if y'all LeBron stands. I don't know. Uh, I was – so I followed this, uh, this TikToker. His nigga who politics and he had to take about like great players and their sons. And he and basically like LeBron would make a horrible coach and his kids are bound to fail because they cannot coach up their sons. Cause it's that element of that what they had is just God given ability, and there's no way you can, you know, verbally say that or like make him, you know, you can't you can't LeBron can't birth another LeBron, if that makes sense. And I think it's what yeah. he's He's doing it right now with Bronny. I think he's thinking Bronny's gonna be better than what he is. And Bronny, he's like he's just putting all this pressure on Bronny. And Bronny may just come in and just be just a solid role player, or not even that. And it's just it's just nepotism. I mean, I commend him for trying to get him in here, but like you're you're trying to prop him up to this guy, like that's gonna be a lot better than you know, you're trying to like you're downplaying NBA talent right now. And this guy averaging four five points in the college level. So like yeah, I mean, it's it's like it remind me because Lavar when he said uh he said Lonzo better than Steph Curry already. Y'all remember that? It was he was in like he was UCLA. That's the craziest thing ever. I, and he he did so good in marketing, I almost believed it. I ain't gonna lie to you, I almost believed it. <laughs> I hated Steph Curry. I did hate Steph Curry a lot. So at that moment, I was like, you know, maybe maybe he right, but obviously, 
And yeah, and it's also man. like a fine line, you know, with LeBron, like talking about the LeVar Ball situation. It's kind of like <clears throat> he kind of set his son up for this just off the strength of him, like being LeBron James Jr., like the follow up to LeBron. Like that is that's already a lofty expectation off top. And then with him not having the the start that he wanted to have, granted, you know, with the health scare he had earlier, it's kind of just like. I mean, I mean, this is just part of it. Like you're the, you're the son of LeBron James, and like he has another son uh, that's um that's younger, and but good. yeah, good. looks look looks like to have a he, probably has a higher yeah. upside than Bronny himself. Like you said, yeah, Bronny could just, for sure. For I think sure. just ended up being a role it, player, and it's like it's not bad, but it's like LeBron Junior. Like, but he can't he can't coach that. Like he can't coach LeBron at athleticism. He could he can't put in. Yeah. What you know, LeBron went through, you know, at same, you know, with Mary's. Is there certain things you can't teach to somebody else? Everybody ain't coming in with LeBron abilities. Everybody ain't got that, you know, that ain't, DNA. I, I, ain't nobody, say, ain't nobody doing that. That's I'm sorry, 15, that's, 20 years. So how can you? That's so yeah. do you trust LeBron to coach a role player? No, I don't trust LeBron to coach anybody. I, I, I wouldn't. I, yeah, Greg, you said no. I, I would never trust that in my life. Bro, you no. see what he do to the role players? Do you see what he does to role players? Exactly. So he, he's only wants to coach the role players that he played with. Sit in the corner. Legit. shoot when I get like. Legit, bro. You, bro. you see what kind of happened to Kevin Love's career when he went to Cleveland? Right. My man Kevin Love, 26 a game. That man go to Cleveland, he's a spot of shooter in the corner. That's tough. It's crazy. You got to ring. You got to ring, though, at least. But that's tough. No, I would, ne I would never trust that, now. Yeah. Hey, you know, I, go ahead, Greg. No, nah, go ahead and finish it. Go ahead and finish it. No, nah, no, you, you go ahead, because I was about to say something ridiculous, but you go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> My, yeah, well, yeah, it, for lack of a better term, before I get into it, I, I, I just really want to make a per, uh, a public service announcement for all NBA wives. Y'all got to stand up, y'all. Y'all got to stand up, and y'all got to start naming y'all children, bro. Stop letting y'all mans just, like, there's too many juniors out here, man. <laughs> too many Michael Porter Jr., <laughs> LeBron James Juniors. They're the just most least creative people when it comes to names. Like, y'all got to give it up, yo. There's too many juniors in the NBA. I know nepotism is a thing in, in the NBA and basketball. I'm tired of seeing it. I'm tired of seeing um, just people just not living up to expectations. Like, yo, like, for Bronny, he was already screwed from the beginning because you can't tell me an NBA all-time great that has a son that panned out. Michael. Just like that, <laughs> we don't even know. Yeah, you know, yeah. The only like, like Lavar was cooking. Lavar was cooking when it when it came to stuff like that. He was like, "Yo, LeBron James, son, they're not gonna be as good as X, Y, and Z because he's LeBron." Versus, um, somebody that's like, I don't want to disrespect. I don't want to disrespect Clay Thompson's dad, but <laughs> Clay Thompson surpassed him. You know, there's, about there's Joe Bryant, bro. Joe Bryant. I was thinking about that too. Bryant. Yeah, yeah, Joe Bryant, but yeah, there's just there's just, there's just a different level to it, yo. It's just and the younger, like when you have multiple, when you have multiple sons, normally the the youngest son ends up having the best athletic genes out of everybody. That's how you see. Like, Why is that though? Why I have no that? clue. I, I got to talk to God on that one, yo. But I don't I don't have that answer. <laughs> but you just see it with Lamelo Ball, even you see yeah, it so with cool. other you know other um, NBA players um, with it. Shoot. I wouldn't Wait, say no, you know, no. the middle child, but yeah, he's he the middle. And Steph and Seth is Seth older than Steph? Seth is or younger. he's younger. Yeah, so younger? There, there's there's some oh, there's some lofty yeah. expectations, but that's more skill than anything. They're they're you know, but when it comes to athleticism, body body types and height and stuff, like Bryce has the height. We we, we all thought Bryce was that. Younger, like we thought we, he was going to at least be like six 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 seven. So for him to cap out at six three, it's like oh, you're going to forever be a, a guard. You're not going to be six seven with guard like abilities. No, you're going to be an actual guard, and that changes the dynamic. Because if LeBron was just six three, he'd be cold, but he, he wouldn't be. He would not. He LeBron. wouldn't be LeBron. He wouldn't be LeBron. Yo, yeah, J, uh, J six, bro. What you what you think about this, bro? What do you think about the Bronny expectations? It goes, it goes back into what you said earlier, man. Father and son, it's it's a lot of pressure on that son, especially with uh, Greg just said, stop naming your son. At right after that, you know, right after you, because that put a lot of pressure on your son. Now, let's look at Kobe Bryant. He had a different name for himself, even though his father played uh, professional ball, but he had a name for himself. You know what I'm saying? He got to create his own legacy, his own empire. Uh, and so I like that. That's a good example, Kobe Bryant. Um, there's 
too much to say great because they they don't compare to the prototype, the the original, uh, the one like Michael Jordan or uh, the Hardaway. The Hardaway is uh, it's so, I'm, I'm thinking of, it's so many other Tim sons Martin. that that even yeah. LeBron James are playing other people's sons right now that he played. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Jabari uh, Smith. Yeah, he is Jabari Smith. Yeah, That's during crazy. his yeah, ten years. Yeah. <laughs> Um, That's crazy. And, that made but, me, uh, yeah. The ball. What's his name? The the father. Ball. The, the ball brother. Lavar. Lavar Ball. He talked his he talked his kids uh way into the NBA, but they number two pick. They, you said what now? You number two. He talked them to the number two pick because Jason Tatum way, and it works. But with LeBron, Jason Tatum should have been mm. with LeBron James. <laughs> I don't think he can say anything. It's really. His 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 brand his his face his name it's a face card and so we look at you LeBron James we expect the same out of your offspring and it's that and it's that but we 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 I think we putting too much focus on Bronny this is, I mean let's not forget the other son you know what I'm saying like what y'all think about that now Bryce he gonna be he should be better than Bronny. He got the size. You, you can't right. teach size and that, that's as simple as that. He got the size for it. And and he grew up very very fast. Yeah, he got the athletic, so he's gonna be a dog. <laughs> we already seen it. He's gonna be but he, he gonna be he a not gonna be he's not gonna be better than LeBron. You can only have one main yeah, character he, in your gene pool. You can't have too many. You can't <laughs> you can't have too many. That's ridiculous. God ain't give you that many. You have one main character in your gene pool, bro. You're right. I mean, a lot of that's just a luck of the draw. Like you're like in like in order to surpass LeBron, you would have to at least match his championships, match his MVPs. Yo, that alone is just. I think that the championships. It's a lot to ask. Yeah, no. It's a lot to ask for. James, you have to be putting up numbers like LeBron James did in high school, from the jump. I mean, from the jump, he's the best high school player ever. So yeah, nobody, nobody touches LeBron in high school. I mean, you know, hey, would he be the best college player ever? Maybe he might be the best college player ever. I don't know if he went to college, Ohio State. No, but. To me, he. The, hey, I, I'm curious. This is this is just a quick, just throw in here. I'm just curious. I'm just throwing this in really quick. Who y'all go? I just want to know. I'm just curious. We talk about LeBron. Who y'all go? Is it Michael Jordan or LeBron? I'm just curious. LeBron. Just, just real quick. Kobe Bryant. He said, he said Kobe. Okay. You got throw a little. I got the little oh. wild card. That's good. Uh, Greg, you said LeBron. LeBron. Louis, you know you, you you gonna say LeBron. Austin, what's your, what's your answer? LeBron is LeBron. Dang. Okay. So he said LeBron. Okay. And Mauricio, is it Tim Duncan, right? <laughs> I mean, you you did say who's my goat, not the goat. So yeah, that's fair. That could be a fair answer. But uh, no, I I think LeBron. Anyway, that longevity, that longevity stuff really. I, I, I'm the only yeah. Jordan first of way. I, that's funny. That, that longevity. It's, I mean, cause longevity I, really worked though. It really it really make it harder. But what you gonna say, Austin? Just I didn't I didn't see Jordan in his prime. Like I've seen LeBron's whole career. So it's just like, like I said, for me personally, it's like, even if I can acknowledge that Jordan is the GOAT, like I didn't, it's one thing to see highlights. It's one, it's another thing to watch somebody's whole career. And yeah. It's, it's not even that. Every every time I argue with somebody who like, who's older, from the older generation, they have the same thing uh, they say about Jordan. It's the scoring, it's the defense. And it's like, okay, who was the better basketball player? Who got better like at basketball, like over the years? Because I mean, I don't think Jordan got as good as people think. Like he, he he took off, but like LeBron's evolution, that is something. I'm telling you, the from the first stint with the Cavs and then to the Heat, well, you know, and then I think his most deadliest one was the second stint with the Cavs. Like I don't think we've seen that from like another player. Like, and let's talk about leadership. Come on now, because I mean, Jordan was an it's asshole. Tangible. <laughs> <laughs> it's tangible. It's tangible. Look. look I, I will tell you the only reason I can't, and I, I'll tell you, I've wanted to get LeBron this in my mind, but the reason I can't, and, it, and look, he got the shirt on. Look, Lewis, he got the shirt. That 2011 series, boy, I am never, I, I can't give it to you if Jason Terry outplaying you. I can't do it. I know that would okay, never but happen. Hold me this. This is why this, okay, this is my biggest kind of argument to Jordan. His, okay. the people he played against, his competition was shit. Can you name me the second best shooting guard in his era? That would be Clyde Drexler. Right, who is Clyde. also he's a really good player. He's heads but, and feet above that man. Like <laughs> I'll tell you this, LeBron had a better LeBron had better competition to play off against in the finals. I, he, I'll give you that, right? Is, in, he had when it gets insane competition. Like we had the while well, you start out, you gotta get rolled, steamrolled by the Spurs dynasty. Then you gotta come face uh but you're facing 
you face the yeah the three seed like the the Mavericks are a good team, but they're not like some crazy team. No, nah, we was on a, we was on the level. We was on the level. That's dirt. That's dirt. Yeah. No, but not, he like, he had it up. No way. The Mavericks no, we, some level. We was on one. I'm telling you that that whole that whole playoff run because we knocked out the uh, Kobe. Them coming off uh their their ring, we was on one. It was just bound to happen. And then he had to face <laughs> <laughs> he had to face this this Warriors dynasty. But I swear to God, if okay. this what Warriors dynasty is crazy. The Spurs are a good team. But they they got blown out by a record margin in that finals. When they lost. I mean, D Wade was margin. on the D I mean, Wade was on the decline. Like that was a that was a the D-Wade. fact that they even Hold got on. back to the finals that year was impressive in and of itself. Like we we all I mean, they, they playing the East though. They playing the East wasn't in, like it's just only there was only one team really. That I'm saying like that, that Spurs <laughs> team. <laughs> team <laughs> no, also, you look at how that Spurs team came back no. with a with you a, ain't a lying. like that was that was a different. Bro, yeah, the Pacers were frauds. Weird. I'm telling you, the Pacers team that, pa- that second Pacers team was a fraud team. But that first one was fine. That second one was a fraud. I could, I could tell. You could tell the plot of all this, bro. That second team was fraudulent. And then he faced like he faced. This is LeBron. This is how LeBron gets to the finals, right? The first two, the first two uh, series is like sweep, sweep, sweep. It's easy, right? He faced one decent team: the Raptors, the Pacers, the Bulls. Like decent, but they not really that team. Okay, and then so they beat him in six, and then we move on to the finals. name, 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 win. name an East team that gave Jordan trouble. And he's seen that gave Jordan trouble. Okay, so we talking the Indiana Pacers. You had with Reggie Miller, and then you had the Patrick Ewing. Well, that's, that's it's, it's you just stop a shooter next. <laughs> like, like, like. <laughs> but see, you don't know that you talk about stop a shooter, but that Pacers stop team a shooter than just the shooter. They, you, you got a team full of defenders, like, and it's the, and it's the '90s, so the pacing different. Like the, the pacing whole, was different. Okay, but so that works in the '90s. Like it won't work in the 2020s. You're right. I mean, in the 90s, then you gotta is, face a team with Isaiah Thomas and ah, oh, well, I'm gonna get on this man to end the time. What's that name? Lambert or Lambeard, the sorriest oh, player I've ever seen in my life. This fool <laughs> only averaged two points a damn game. He was seven foot two for no fucking reason. Like players like that wouldn't even last today. Last, yeah, but it's, it, we got the evolution of the game, right? I know that, but he wouldn't even so, last so in the eighties. Just... <laughs> the man who played the eighties wasn't last in the eighties. He, he played play, the eighties. <laughs> Lamb, I'm talking about uh, Lamb Beer, not not uh, yeah, he played, Lamb Beer played in the 80s. Oh, he was a bum, I don't care. He, he, he was literally, <laughs> he, he literally <laughs> provided nothing on the court. He put bro. This man in the court in the air, he played it. But all, he, all, he, all they had him out there to do was he had fouls in his back pocket he can use on uh, on uh, Jordan. That's it. Hey, look, I'll tell you, oh, at man. the end of the day, Webbin Yama gonna be the go to everybody, anyways. <laughs> I mean, like I said, but, I, don't really, hey. I don't really care about um. I could care less about the the Jordan Brown debate mainly because you're gonna be on whatever side you're gonna be on. You can't convince nobody at this point. Um, it's gonna be a personal opinion. I just Kobe. I just need people to just stop and Kobe for sure. Yeah, why, why, why you pick Kobe? Why you pick Kobe? Yeah. I'm curious. What's your, what's your what's your Kobe take on why you pick Kobe's so, the goat? I, I look at man. I, I think it really is really a, a personal one, but like <laughs> man, I look at Jordan. Okay, and you gotta look at Kobe. Then you gotta look back at Jordan. Then you gotta look at Kobe. You gotta look at Jordan. You gotta look at Kobe. Kobe, Kobe, literally copied and pasted. He's literally a copy paste of Michael Jordan, but to me, on a whole nother level, I think better. Oh, he's not upgraded better. of the copy. Yeah, I'm saying, how can, how can a copy better than the original? If, if 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 Michael Jordan's supposed to be the goat, I think Kobe Bryant upgraded Michael Jordan's game. So I think that's the (laughs) prototype of what the GOAT is supposed to look like. Now, when I look at LeBron James' game, all I could say is the longevity and the amount of people uh, or the type of players he played against. But when it comes down to the art and the science of the basketball, playing basketball, of how Jordan and Kobe Kobe displayed it on the court, them the only two who played it to me in that well. The art. I'm talking about the art. I know the science of the game. The science, the science, of the, the art, real, real analysis. Fundamentals. I'm fundamentals. About- you see the, the fadeaway. <laughs> oh, oh, you want to talk about fundamentals? All they did was score and play defense. <laughs> they didn't rebound. They didn't pass. Well, I mean, they could, but I mean, Jordan wasn't a good playmaker. But, but, but you know what? But he, nah, LeBron, he LeBron. I ain't gonna lie. I gotta give it to LeBron though. He he don't get the respect he, he deserved, man. For real, I give it to him. He deserved it. He deserved it. Hey, and I need and I need people and I need people to stop talking about Jordan about his defense. 
I don't care. Uh, thank you. His defense is overrated. I think it was. Like, I'm, well, it's just, it's just like, a little, little, little bit. Just a little it's bit. Like my thing is just like, I don't know why you bring in defense when you're talking LeBron because peak for peak, y'all acting like LeBron is not a, a good defense. It at his prime? They act like no. They act like Jordan was going out there. Was the like the year in twenty thirteen. He got like they gave it to Marcus Saul, but twenty thirteen. No, yeah, bro. I'm just, hey, look, what's your shit, bro? Hey, I ain't gonna lie to you, but look, my man averaged thirty five and three steals. Jordan, I'm, I I don't mm. know three steals, about two blocks and thirty five games. Hey, I had steals. Is he a good defender? But he not three steals and two blocks. That's not. Bro, he not bro, three steals bro, look, two bro. This is this is my thing. He he was scoring all them points. I, I tell my uncle this all the time. Bro, he wasn't going out there Ding up on the number one player. I think he gave somebody else buckets. Let's let's keep it a bean. We know who the number one the number one defensive option went to. It's that deep ass boy Scotty Pippen ass. We know it went to his ass. Let's just keep it a fucking bean. Okay. And we see it all the time. Like he was Jordan was getting he, he was getting cooked. Okay, like sometimes I'm not saying he was getting all the way cooked, but like, <laughs> Dang, well, okay. like he, he ain't just no lock up, you know what I'm saying? Then they had an agenda, man. They 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 were trying to push Jordan. As we, you, the media was favoring Jordan. But I can't say the same about LeBron. LeBron had MVPs, second from him, defense MVPs. Let's like the D Rose MVP. That oh, like, come it. on now, like. I, it now. I mean, D, I shout out to D Rose, but like we can we can go over like how many accolades that we've been passed over because we've been we've been loving the better story rather than we're trying to yeah, push but- somebody to expand our sport to the rest of the world. Well, how, how many how many MVPs did LeBron miss out on? I think for sure the D Rose one. The D Rose one, he, he missed out on that. One. And it was another one he missed out on as, as well. Like I, I, I gotta go back, but and I like those years with the Heat. He was he, that deep. His defense. Was I mean, I told him, I, I, I'll give you the twenty thirteen LeBron. I would tell you this twenty thirteen LeBron. I would if I had him and I faced any player in history, I think I'd be fine. I tell you, because 2013 LeBron is is a is an mf for sure. That that, that is <laughs> the best version of him of right. all time. Like that that is a guy that if you told me that's the goat, I'd be like, okay, that I can see because that you remember my man with the eyes of that freaking meme where he's looking at yeah that 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 player that's that's him. He got yeah, it. Man, but, that man a black mask too, bro. Like it's right. A black mask, rough boy. Black mask, LeBron boy. That's when he was a villain though. When he when he became the good guy, he kept losing a lot. When he was a villain, that's how you get your plot. You gotta be the villain. Um. I wanted to say this to Mauricio. Shout out to you. He says Wemby season right there. We talking about goats and Webb and Yama looking like he's gonna be one of the goat defenders. You know what I'm saying? Now they gassing your man up though. They, I can already see this. This they said they said he closed the average in a five by five for the season, and he has like two point eight something, two steals. So he has something at, that was at two, and I was like, how is that close to five? See, but they 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 just did that to gas you up a little bit. They try to round it up by three. I don't know. That's not how you round it up now. Know. It was crazy. Yeah. And then and they like, uh, is this as good as Russell Westbrook's triple double season? I said, mm-hmm. you know, I know, I know, I, I see the gas enough half of this strong. I feel it. But if you a Spurs fan, why not, right? Um, I'm gonna ask you, Mauricio, are you taking Tim Duncan right? Like Tim Duncan rookie season, or Ricky oh. Young rookie season? How are you feeling, boy? Tim Duncan rookie season or Ricky rookie season? Oh. I think success, success wise. Don't look Tim at no Duncan. wins. Don't, don't look at wins okay, and losses because okay. obviously he had David Robinson with him too. So don't don't, don't look at that. <laughs> um, that that is that is tough. That is that is a question right there. Oh man, Wemby or Duncan's rookie season? And, and <sighs> anyone else can answer as well too. If you like, if you actually I think, know about this, I think I stick with the. Yeah. Oh man. Wemby got a good Wimby. defense. Like they both they first team defense, maybe. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. Yeah. The answer the answer is based off of because they're both great players. The answer for me is always gonna be what am I more inclined to turn the TV on and look at? And that is Wimby. So I'm gonna pick Wimby. The that is that is fair. Because I mean Wemby can damn near put up a highlight every other play. Yeah. Uh, if his teammates, you know, are able to find yeah. him, or if, or if he's just <laughs> blocking, don't. he's just reaching back and and blocking a ball like like he's a, uh, I mean he's an alien, just, he's, he's an alien. alien. He, he a really is like, like just, yeah, um, but man, that is that is hey, tough. I, I, I'm taking Duncan F. Wimby. It's How it. the heck? I tell you, it's so stupid. I'm so pissed you got him. Like, why do you have him? And the funny thing, all the, <laughs> look at him, look, and, and, and look at all the other rookies in this class. Like, what are they doing right now? Like, what are the rookies doing right now? 
Like, what's Scoot Harris? Scoot Harris is terrible. I thought yeah, he'd be good. Yeah, bro. He's yeah. terrible. I, mean, I thought he'd be good. Brandon Miller's already <laughs> just slow with it. He just he coming. No, Brandon Miller been nice, though. He's right. You're right. He, Brandon Miller looking nice. He's nice. He, he I miss, nice, I miss, he I miss he Hopkins. Like, and we're not counting Chet because you know, <laughs> Chet, <he, laughs> Chet, Chet said, I'm counting myself. I'm winning. That's what he said. Look at the Irish ass. <laughs> no, but he, he, he ain't got the he ain't got the plot for that. I'm he taking Wimby, bro. I'm taking Wimby. Wimby definitely. Are you taking Wimby over Duncan? I'm taking Wimby. I'm taking Wimby because Ricky Wimby. Yeah, rookie season, not obviously. I'm taking Wimby, I'm taking Wimby because he confirmed everything we thought. You know, we could we questioned coming in. Like we didn't know if he was gonna be able to move. We thought he because we've seen the you know the his archetype before, but we didn't see it like to this Old like the, yeah, this mobile, yeah, this this handle, <laughs> this ease, like he's just blocking players with ease, you know, except for my boy Kyrie. My boy Kyrie gonna hit him with the oh no, because Kyrie was probably, you know, <laughs> Dallas right? gonna hit him with the <laughs> but yeah, but he he's been like now nah, his his highlight, and then he's been held back by his teammates. So like and he's still putting at least yeah. Duncan didn't have Tony Parker being an idiot and not throwing his ass a damn lob. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> like shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So it's this is it's very scary. I'm 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 at more afraid. Like if it was Timmy in his rookie year, I'm not as afraid I was at Timmy than I'm, I'm what Wimby's going to be. Absolutely, it's going to be uh, insane. Uh, 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 do you think so? You think Wemby gonna be better than Luka Doncic when they in AP? Damn, why are you why are you going more? Ooh. Yeah, get out your bias. Now, let's Ooh. see what that bias. Well, hold let's on, see how that bias moves. <laughs> I gotta see if he biased. He got, he got he got some levels to go. First of all, he a big. You know what I'm saying. Second of all, you gotta get to a conference finals before you come over here. Hey, but that step back. Hey, but that step back. You gotta carry. You gotta carry Jeremy Sohan trash ass to the conference finals before you come over here. My boy was carrying Reggie. Hey, that boy, he's, he's a rising star. He's a rising star, man. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Who do y'all think? Because I know Mr. Bias is here. Actually, they're both biased. Who do y'all think would be better at the end of their careers, Wemby or Luka? More accomplished think, or the better basketball player? I'm saying I think better Wemby basketball has a player. chance to be the best basketball player ever. Wemby has that opportunity to become the best. He has the opportunity ever. Yeah. So, so he, he went to San Antonio, bro. Like they already got a lot. What the <laughs> you top ten? So <laughs> <laughs> top ten player all time. Like what is that? It's so stupid. How many? Bro, how, many, how, many how many top picks do y'all need, bro? Dog. Like y'all had ninety million. No, hey, bro, chill, chill, not hey. <laughs> it's. I'm talking about the Rocky because he's so damn mad. Like why are you, you fucking? Bro, because that was the one I wanted, bro. Like I've been freaking tanking you know, all these years. They take one. I made a. They take one. Y'all want to pick Scoop? <laughs> Yeah, we was <laughs> and that shit would have been ass. That would have been trash. Been At trash. least I got I, I, I'm in like I'm in been hooping, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He, he been hooping. <laughs> but I is. hate that I hate that Wemby in my conference. He on that team. Like if he was in like yeah, bro, he, he, I want he, him in he, the East. He ain't not a vision, bro. He like not even there. He ain't not a vision. <laughs> I got Zion, Luca, and Wemby and John Morant. But John Morant might do a lot of gun signs and then he won't be in the division no more. Hey <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, doing that now, but that Memphis looks scary, bro. <laughs> Memphis, man, John Memphis Moran is most definitely in that conversation. Yeah. No, John Moran. I mean, he he need yeah. he need be playing. He got injured though, so I can't blame DJ him. DJ Jackson for hooping. Y'all been seeing DJ Jackson? Yeah, DJ Jackson been going crazy. Going crazy. That's my division. So y'all gonna forget Great, about I'm my saying. boy Anthony Edwards, the next Ray Michael Jordan prototype. He said next hot Michael Jordan. No, nah, I don't know. He gonna be all that, but he gonna be good. <laughs> I don't know he goes. My boy I average more than twenty five. Be that. You gotta average more than twenty five. He he gonna be good. What nice. Yeah, he's he gonna be in the playoffs, but he is gonna be a second round exit. I ain't gonna lie to you, and that's fine. Damn. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. I know they're they gonna face one of these like veteran teams in the first or second round, and it's just gonna be like you know, they ain't got that closing ability in that game six, game seven. It's gonna be they tough. face us, it's cooks, it's right? Cooks. If anybody face Luca, boys, I'm not gonna hold I mean, you. We're cooking the entire team. Rudy Gobert gonna be food on the plate again, like it's it's cooks. Oh, that, that did happen. That did happen. Um, hey, Greg, I, I did, I, I want to say something though, like. Mm -hmm. Jalen Green disappointed. I, like the, the disappointment Jalen Green gave to me is crazy, bro. Like Jalen Green, like all these other teams in our conference mm -hmm. or in our division get to like have their guy, right? They got their mm -hmm. guy. You know, Zion, like, you know, Zion mm -hmm. has distractions off the field or off the court. They're hilarious. John Moran got distractions off the court. They're hilarious, too. You don't think Shane Goon is, is y'all guy? I think Shane, Shane Goon is, is y'all guy. Good. Shane Goon is really good. I think he's y'all guy. Like, he, he, he's he, guy. He probably is our guy. But then, like, we still not winning, and Jalen Green's supposed to be the second guy. At least he's supposed to be one of these guys. Man, he's supposed to be number one. 
We drafted him because he's supposed to be number one. But, was, but he's no. getting, he and they tricked me. Out. I should have got Evan Mobley. They tricked me. They said they they tricked <laughs> me. I fell for nah, it. Bro. I wanted hey, Evan shout Mobley. Shout out Jabari Smith though. He's an nah, bro. I disagree. Jamari, I disagree. You disagree with what? The Evan Mobley thing because the because we don't get uh, me personally. A lot of people keep talking about it being a certain kind of way. I truly believe if you draft Evan Mobley, you're not even looking at Shingun, and yep. I'd rather have Shingun than Evan Mobley. But okay, think about it. So I if we don't trade Jared Allen, you said what? So we said, remember because we also had Jared Allen, we trade him away immediately. Right. If we had the Evan Mobley Jared Allen pairing versus the Shane Goon and Jalen Green pairing, what do you think would be better for us? You have zero playmaking. Zero. I have but you'll have look look. Kevin Porter. We Jay. have elite. We'll have elite. No, don't talk about him. Yeah, we'll yeah, have yeah. elite <laughs> and senior <laughs> D. <laughs> zero. You don't right. have a playmaker that can solidify <laughs> that. Like you don't think I don't think Jalen Green. You, you you are you still getting um who you got this year? Because they all the money too. The, butter, the butterfly effect is crazy because essentially, <clears throat> if you're drafting Evan Mobley, which you, if you're drafting Evan Mobley, that means you have no intentions on getting Shangun, which means you're not going to draft J- Jabari Smith the next year. You're probably going to try to go get Jaden Ivy. And if Ooh, you get no, no, then no you not go, Detroit, <laughs> not yeah. Detroit. Then you go into this year's draft. You have Jaden Ivy and Evan Mobley. It does not make sense to get Amin Thompson. Who are you going to go get? So the butterflies of uh, ethnic black, what are, we, what are we doing? Like, I just don't, like I said, Evan Mobley, he cool, but I'd rather, I'd rather just stink it up with Jalen Green and have Shin Goon. You could just trade Jalen Green away. It's yeah, something. I think you're going to trade Jalen Green anyway. I think he's but becoming expendable. He's on an opportunity to not have Shin Goon. But I think Shin Goon's going to be one of them guys. I think he's going to, I think he clears Evan Mobley. He's going to continue to clear Evan Mobley. He's they a poor man's Jokic, man. He, he keep trying to, he keep, they keep trying to make Evan Mobley that next Tim Duncan. They did them Tim Duncan comps. I'm like, bro, give it a rest. There's only one Tim Duncan, and it was barely hard. It was hard for me to watch that, but like, I ain't gonna I ain't got no I asked him out. Asked Look at him different after that damn Cavs series last year. Bro. Mitchell Robinson bitch both of him and Jared Allen, and he don't, and he barely be on the court. And Julius Randle be shooting like the way he <clears> jump shots. It, Look like he shoots up a whole bunch of hell nahs, bro. Like I'm not, <laughs> I can't take I mean, that he, seriously, bro. I don't know. I I, I I hear what you're saying though, but Jalen Green. Oh, it's bad. No, no don't get me wrong. It's, it's bad. It's bad. It's bad. It's, I, he's number two pick. He was supposed to start this. He need he needed to start us off. Man, That's you be good, he, bro. You just gotta be we patient, got Cam, bro. We got Cam, we got Cam Whitmore. I, I, I got Cam, Cam Whitmore. I, 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 I look. I feel it. I give people three years though. That's how that's how I do in every sport. You get three years. Yes. Shout out to Caleb Williams, right? Yeah, Justin Fields and Caleb. You give people oh three years. After three years, bro, it's is it's wrap. You're done. You need to show me some, bro. If you ain't showing me none, bro, we are done. And that's it. Okay, and he's but like, he get worse. This man getting worse. This man's open three. Getting, he's getting worse. He's getting worse. He's that's he's tough. And and he's a high volume shooter. Um and he's I just not don't, I, he like for me. He's never been somebody that's been a good spot up um, jump shot shooter, and I also think that his what what you call it? I think his numbers in G League at night were just a little outlier compared to what he is in high school for a three point shooter versus what he was in the league. Like what he was in high school and what he was in the league, like those were like what it looks like a more accurate representation. Um, him trying to be spot up, that's not what it that's that's not his game. Um. And for people that just want to just blindly trade Jalen Green, that's cool. I'm with it. I just need to know who you're going to trade him for. Don't just cut him. Don't just out here just give him. I don't want Jordan Clarkson. I don't want these. I don't want nobody. You know what I mean? Like, if it makes Why not? It makes sense. I don't want Jordan Clarkson, gang. I'm sorry. Why? That's just another I'm version. I get another version. Just another Jalen I mean, Green. That's, that's a probably more efficient that's version. Though. That's the more efficient version. But it's the not more like... efficient version of Jalen Green. I don't care for that. That's fine. Jalen Green. You want to tell him a star? <laughs> it's Jalen Green. Hey, hey, Josh, will you be watching Jalen Green? Do you, do you know of this? Because he said, "Do you know of this?" <laughs> Jalen Green is like, hey, I know, I know, I'm not talking about, it, but I, I just know, I know from what I've seen, I know that he's supposed to be better. That's Absolutely. that's all I know. So I understand exactly how y'all feel. Trust me, I do. But ever since James Harden left, I'm gonna be real. I checked out. Houston's my team. I feel it. That's fair. I, I even danced it. for the Rockets. I feel it. I clearly grew up in the Toyota Center. But I checked out, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. I checked out. I feel it. I get. I, get. Hey, look, I missed. I missed the James Harden era, bro. I had like, even though we lost, I had like, I had purpose. Every year, 
I just marked Golden State on my calendar, bro. I had purpose That's ready. Purpose. And I, was, I, was, I was gone, boy. Our years, but the Golden State took it every time, man. Not oh, only bro, go, team, bro. but Damian Lillard at that point six second, I'll never forget. He done it oh, yeah. about That's three times yeah. with three different teams. With well, that last dump, that last drop at the last second, man. I, I still can't. I still can't uh, forgive Chandler Parsons for that. That was crazy. Missing the Yo, G-50. I'm telling you, no, bro, I blame that, Kevin McHale. Oh, Kevin McHale ain't make no adjustments, boy. Kevin McHale was ass. Wait, wait, wait. Chandler Parsons on the court when that happened? Yeah, yeah, he was. He was the one who was. Uh, he was the one who tried that to block. Was, that him. was that was Dame's assignment. Damn, that's ridiculous. That's a ridiculous moment in my you life. Know, that, that, right, that's right, um, heartbreak all over again. Ooh. No, but it, it, it's always, even though I had, some, it's, I told you some rough losses. I had some, like, I sit in my room, it's dark, and I'm just like, damn. Like, them losses, I still I appreciate. I was competitive. I had 50 wins on my belt. I had a guy who should have won two to three MVPs, but they hold him because they kept changing. They kept changing the narrative every damn year. You would win it, and then they <laughs> you about to win it, and then they say, nope, that don't work no more. It's all. Oh, it's about stats. Oh no, he averaged thirty six. No, we'll give it to Giannis. It's about winning. But I thought it was about stats. That type of shit. That shit pissed me off every every time that happened. It was it's ridiculous. How he averaged thirty six, no one MVP. Who do who, who? What? Ridiculous. Yeah, you're right. They, they, they did take the MVP away from him. You're right. That's some dumb shit. They they he, they gave it to Russ Westbrook for the triple double average. Yeah. And then Harden averaged 36, 30 straight games with thirty. Only will do it. They say no, we'll give it to Giannis because we care about winning. That's what they. That's what they're trying to do with Luca. They was that was that dumbass comparison they were making with Tatum versus Luca. I'm like, he's the that's best player on the blessed team. Like, dude, <laughs> they a super team. They take him away. They're still number one in the East. The fuck is you talking that's about? <laughs> so you, you think uh, you think Tatum should win MVP? He think he should win MVP. He think he should win MVP. Who who's, who think? Jason Tatum. Right. Hell no. He, he no. ain't even. <laughs> motherfucker <laughs> ain't top five. He's this. He's just like Devin Booker to me. He's disqualified. If you have another, he's just like Devin Booker. Huh? Yeah. yeah. He, if you got another like MVP or you have no like you if you're on a super team, no, you're not valuable to your team. Yeah. Yeah. Boston's still a, a yeah. Boston without they're Jason Tatum. They're still, still at the top of the yeah, East without good. Jason Tatum. You think, you think they're still at the top of the East without Jason Tatum? Ooh, I don't know. Yes. I think they, they, they need Jason Tatum to be the top of the East. I think that'd be... They need, they need, no, they they need, they need Jason Tatum to get 57 wins. They'll still be at the top of the uh, fucking East. Mm. I don't know about number one. They, they'll pace for like 60. They'll be number two. I'm saying like the top. Right. Not, not like the top. But top. yeah, no, yeah. like this current... No, like this year's version, yeah, with Porzingis and White. Yeah, yeah that's, it, what, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, this, this, yeah. this year. It's they're trying to push it this year. Wait, Lewis, yes, who should I be MVP? Oh, hell, it should be Luca. It shouldn't even be a fucking. Why, why? It, it, could, it could say no one else. It should be a fucking. Get go. What? <laughs> Your same I, I, I argument mean... which was having with your guy is happening right now. He Luca is leading the league in points. Okay. Yeah, it was, it was their, their main gripe against him is we're like number seven, number eight in the, uh, in the what's the name? But I don't, I don't no. give a fuck about that because you gave Jokic the MVP and he was number six and when he won. But I mean, I understand that MVP, but it's the same thing for with us. If we don't have Luca, we're not in. We're, we're 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 with you. I'm telling you, we're we're with you. We're getting ready to pick. No, I, th- I think you gotta be worse. I don't know about. We're not. We're bad. We're not that bad. I don't know. No, we're, we won't be in the plan because you know how tight the the West is. We're like, it's within yeah, like four games. Game. You lose a game, you drop. Yeah, like so we would be with y'all. Yeah, I'm not mad at. I'm not a. I'm not mad at Shea winning it. Angle. No, I don't think it's I don't weird think he, though. No, he's gonna have a 31. That man, Mr. 31 boy, his 31 stats will always be 31 and 8. If it ain't 31 and 8, he has the record for most 31 point games in the season. Literally, is that is a thing. Yeah, so I, so can, I, I don't think he's the most valuable. I think because um who's the other yeah. argument? I think Yogi still has an argument this year, too. Yeah. Yeah, true. Yeah. yeah, at the end of the day, I I've all I'm the on the team of no matter what the team is doing. Uh, if the if the award is MVP most valuable player, um, you have to give it to the the player that has done the most or that has the most impact on their team. And it it may not necessarily be about wins. Now, if, obviously, if they're contributing, it uh, attributes to those wins. But I don't think wins should weigh so heavily on an individual award. Oh, yeah, I think that's if dumb. that makes sense. And well, if we go into the it, most adversity, hard, they hold him. Yeah, they, they hold, hold him, him multiple times off I that do. shit. I do. I, 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 <laughs> no, I think that. They move the goalposts. They move the goalposts every year. They change it up every year. They did that shit every year for this man. Every year. They hate look, look, 
The one he deserved the most was Steph Curry, the first Steph Curry one. Ain't no way he averaged 23. He averaged 23 a game, Steph Curry. He got Clay Thompson averaging, putting up 37 and a quarter. James Harden playing with Jason Terry, old Jason Terry, Ariza, Joey Dorsey, all these people. Corey Bro And he, <laughs> number two in the West. Bang. Eight teams got 50 wins. He number two in the West. And you tell me he went after 23? You out your mind. That's the yeah, dumbest they, they thing. Change it up, they change it up every year. This, this is why, like, like this, it, when you bring accolades to the GOAT argument, I'm, I, you can't do it for us because, like, we we met in the era where they change stuff up. What's, what's ever the best narrative? What, what's going to be the best story? And they're going to yeah. give it to that. So, like, and B was the narrative last year. Yeah, you know, like, that was crazy, boy. When Perkins, Perkins came up oh, there oh, and Perkins literally, going, Perkins exactly. literally <laughs> accused the, all the voters of being like racist. And then all of a sudden, the, the votes switched from Jokic to MB. That was crazy. Lost bro. in the second round again, boy. And then tough. Kendrick Perkins double batting was like, "Oh man, Giannis is having a really great." I'm like, yeah, bro, like, shut up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Giannis, bro. Like, bro, oh my God, I'm serious. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me ask y'all this because we talk about this, right? I, I'm he get a vote, like people. Like, and that's stupid. Vote. He get a vote because that man giving a vote. That's so stupid, bro. But hey, so out of and any historical player that we talked about, right? All the historical players. If you took away. If you took away, let me see. If you took away their second best player, right? Who do you think would still win their championships? Like who you think? Who do you think would have still the best career out of all the players? If you took away their second best player, they've LeBron. ever played. LeBron. LeBron. <laughs> Ooh, I would. I would probably what argue about? maybe Kobe. No. Wait, Kobe no, second best player. Oh, 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 Kobe second no. best player was his, he was his no. best it player. Was Shaq was his best. Shaq. Shaq. No. For the first, Shaq. yeah, for, no. for the second one. The most, the most Paul, recent Paul. ones. The second one was Paul, but that first yeah. one. Yeah, they don't know. Shaq. Was, I guess, I guess Shaq with Shaq now, but with Paul, yeah. No, but wait, if you take wait, if you take LeBron second best player, he ain't gonna win none. You take away Dwayne Wade. He took away Dwayne Wade. Then Dwayne Wade was very important to LeBron's ability to even do this. Bro, God, they going out Mike Miller. They they they, they straight. <laughs> you have Chris Bosh and my LeBron James. Hey, y'all beat these teams. Y'all good. Oh, you said what? Say I'm back. I'm, y'all see? I, I was really heated about that conversation. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but God himself what? took away that. God, God himself took away Kyrie and Kevin Love uh, from LeBron. And he lost. And he lost. Yeah, I'm saying, but if I'm saying took, he had if, to you Kyrie, hmm? if you took Kyrie, if you took Kyrie away, so you take Kyrie away in 2016 as well, they're gonna lose. Kyrie was very important in that, like the 41 point game with LeBron, and then also the game winner. Well, uh, and if you take right, away Anthony coming. Davis in 2020, like. Well, de- you know. well done. Everybody's an integral part. That's why they're the second best player. But you're asking me who has the best chance to do it. And it's going to be LeBron. I don't well, know anybody well, that has a better chance. Probably Steph. But, Steph last one. Hell no. Steph last one. No, Steph, Steph last one. That's, you take away Andrew Wiggins. It was Wiggins. all him. It was all him. The, the last one, it was all him. You take away Andrew Wiggins, yeah. <clears> what about <throat> Tim Duncan? Way. Like, what, what about Tim Duncan, like, 03? Because David Robinson was old and decrepit. All, and nobody cares about that 03 finals, bro. Nobody even know who the other thing <laughs> was. I'm sorry. I care. I'm sorry. I care. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. The New Jersey Nets? Bro. Oh, yeah. what, what about Akeem, Akeem's first hey. championship? Akeem's first you championship? Away, like, who you take away? You take away what? You're taking away. Who Clyde? is the second best player? Clyde, Clyde, is not, Clyde, is not, Clyde is not on that. I'm sorry. Clyde's I was not there. Who was the, who was who was the, the first one? Brandon Nick, Brandon Maxwell. Who's, Right, take away Brandon Maxwell. <laughs> well, he, he keep my man, boy. Like that man. Right. Who is his second best player on that team? Okay, I'll give you that. Man, that's hard. Dirk. Who is Dirk's Dirk? Dirk? best player? Who is the second best player? Jason Terry. Uh, Jason Terry is great. Sean. Yeah, Terry. Yeah, he was, was balling. He, he was balling in that series, though. I think you do need Jason Terry. He was. He was balling. Oh, he had on down thirty. Let's, 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 let's cap. Nigga had no, like twelve. He, he, <laughs> Jay, Jay, <laughs> nah, nah, he was putting it up. You was pulling up, but my, my, it, 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 they couldn't stop my boy, my boy Dirk. What's that know? dude named Sean? Uh, Marion, yeah, Marion, yeah, Sean yeah. Marion. Yeah, he was a, he was a dog. That's a, if we could have, I could have one player on my team right now from history. I'll have Sean Marion for sure. Yeah, the Matrix, ugly ass jumper. That man was that that thing was ridiculous. But he, he, went would in lock, like, he would lock your ass. <laughs> <laughs> do it again, do it again, dude. Do it again, dude. <laughs> he, 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 he make that though. He make it though. Like a frog. <laughs> oh, that shit crazy. <laughs> wait, wait. So who's the most dependent? Like who who is the most dependent on their second best player? Curry. Like historic. MJ. Kobe. Hey, MJ. That's hilarious. Kobe, 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 Kobe first championships. Kobe first championships. 
The first three, yeah, Kobe. Yeah. And then what about Ma- what about Magic Johnson? So what about Magic with Kareem? No, I don't think I don't think Magic needed Kareem because when he went out, he became the center. Oh yeah, yeah I mean, he did play center. He did play, <laughs> he did play center. Damn, the boy six nine, so shit, it wasn't nothing to him. True, yeah, Magic was a cold motherfucker. Man. No, Ooh. take away. No, you know you know who's the most dependent? KD. Take away oh. Curry. Foul. <laughs> 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 You had Westbrook, Ibaka, Harden, and KD on the same team, bro. Couldn't get it done. Couldn't get it done. Couldn't get it done. That man, that man went to Golden State, bro. And, and you know, the funny thing in that period of time, people were so annoying because we were like, bro, KD better than LeBron. I said, how Mm-mm. KD has the Hell best nah. spacing in okay. the history of basketball. There is Steph Curry, Clay Thompson. Th- that is ridiculous. That's and the funniest crazy. thing, the funniest thing is, is simple. Remember, I, I think I told y'all this. Like, reason why we competed with the Warriors was simply because KD didn't want to play Golden State ball. That he wanted to play one on one ball. So he wanted to play an OKC ball. That was perfect for us. When KD got hurt in 2019, people thought we were going to win the series. We, we got, got this. They, we they got started playing people. Warriors ball. Yeah, I said, oh, boy, no. They, that boy, <laughs> that boy, we oh, no. I put any traction in this boy. You got to keep up with Curry. That boy finna start Come running around them picks. The illegal oh. screens? Oh no! Yes. You, they don't call them. <laughs> but they had they, they had Damian Lillard and uh, CJ McCollum in hell. I was like, ah, hell. this is crazy. Legit hell. Legit. Legit. Like, <laughs> you, swept. you better put on your cross country shorts, boy, because you finna be running 15 miles this entire game chasing him. But I, I couldn't do that. Hell, no. I couldn't. Lilla, it's funny. Like we were the we were the closest team to beat them, and it was just so annoying because them illegal. Draymond Green was the biggest nuisance in history when you play that team because he yeah. do like he he was everywhere and he was in your face and he do this. And it's just like, bro. He, I remember he pushed Harden in his face. I'm like, bro. Oh yeah. I need to beat them that's so why, bad. <laughs> that's, why, that's why he's like the second most. I think he's the second most play, uh, valuable player on that on the dynasty. It's not oh, yeah. Him. Without Draymond, him. yeah. This, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's Draymond. Draymond. Sure. All so, the, yeah. You need he's them illegal loose. screens, boy. They ain't call defense. Them. His defense, he, he will, he will, he will shut yeah. down a player. As 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 JT, as JT, what and, and Jalen Brown, and all as, as, as Jalen Jay- Brown, Jay- 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 do I need to find a Celtics fan? I need to find a Celtics fan. This man hate the Eagles and football, and he said he he shot toward the Celtics. I gotta find a Celtics fan. But okay, another question I have is, what do y'all think? Because we talk about this 2010s ball. Who do y'all think? Like. If you look at all t- all 2010s team versus the all 2020s team, right? Who was on that team first and foremost? And number two, who would win in a seven game series? And you can't reuse people, so you can't say Steph Curry 2010 and then say Steph Curry 2020. You gotta pick another person for 2020. The 2010, Damn, good. 2020. So so who, who the point what, point guard for 2010? You, you know, I let you say it should be obvious, but point guard for 2010, Curry. Is it, Curry? Is it Curry? Yeah, it's Curry. He's the best. Yes, He's the best. Okay, shooting guard for 2010s. Harden. Make that, sure you know. That's a good pick. I want. I want to make. I know. I want to make no sure nobody some, some. I want. I want. No, but Steph Curry got the plot. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, and that Kobe. I got you. I got you. And that Kobe. It's nope. Reggie no, wait, Miller. Wait, wait, wait. Oh wait. I'm sorry. I no, said no, Reggie Miller. Oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna say <laughs> Ray, Ray Allen. Ray Allen. Ray Allen. Twenty ten. Twenty tens. What year was that when he played with? Uh, that's like oh eight, right? My, what, about about Miami? Play for the heat? what about Miami? Yes. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, I'm not, I'm not I'm giving not you the whole decade for that. That's the best shoot. <laughs> <laughs> the one, the one <laughs> shot. <laughs> the, the boy, like, one the whole shot. decade. To me, he was the same guy from Boston. That's my bad. Excuse me. <laughs> that's my bad. The James Harden game. Yeah, not James Harden. Yeah. It should be. It yeah, should be James Harden. Harden. That man scored the most points yeah. in the decade. I, I think he give should be the guy. I ain't want to give it to him. What he score? The most in terms of he. For a shooting guard, I'll be more specific just in case. Oh, I'm talking about I thought I was in the game. What, I was, Wait, talking about talking about y'all forgot about Kobe Bryant. No. I said Kobe. I said Kobe. It's, it's, I thought you were gonna say Kobe. I Lilla, wasn't thinking. Kobe. I'm like 2010. Older this Kobe. nigga was going crazy. Look, look. I said the decade. 2016 Kobe not good. 2015 Kobe not good. 2014 Kobe not good. 2013 Kobe not good. Bro, Kobe, was good. Kobe was good. good. Kobe was good. Then he tore his Achilles. Then he tore his Achilles. Kind of crazy. I ain't gonna hold No, 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 look, look. No, I'm saying 13. I'm saying 12 that 12 13 season. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. That's that's good Kobe. He tore his Achilles. 13 14 Kobe. I want to say 2013. <laughs> is this a, is He's this not a good. Positionless? Nah, we we, we do Oh, we do no, position. we do no, positionless. We we, 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 we keep it show. Damn, you know y- y'all know who y- it's small for going to be hard because then Carmelo going to be hard. Bro, I mean 
My brother. We ain't, ain't going to give respect to Carmelo? Carmelo ain't going to be on his list at all. Carmelo's not going to be on his list. Katie? Carmelo was cold. I think Carmelo Carmelo was underrated. Carmelo's my favorite player. He's not the He's not going to be on his list. It's not going to be him. Oh, who's gonna be the small four? Y'all know who's gonna be small. Four. Katie, LeBron James. I mean, obviously, the person who plays small four for the of his career. <laughs> LeBron James is small four. And then you can probably uh, slide KD to the four. You can slide KD to the four for sure. Yeah. Dang, we ain't gonna okay. have nobody for whatever. You know what? It don't matter. Who the be five? Awesome. Who the best center in the twenty ten? Well, that's hard. Who that is that the five? Now we have. Hold on, hold on. When, when, did, when did Dwight start? The Marcus point? Cousins. Look at, um, Dwight Howard started. <laughs> feel like 20, 2013. 20, it was like twenty. When did he go to the four? Like twenty. Yeah, it was early on. Okay, never mind. I mean, that was like when it's the decline. Never mind. That's that's too early. Uh, who was who was the dominant center? Mark Gasol. I, um, Marcus. You had you had Demarcus Cousins, Anthony Davis. You had. I'm not giving Anthony Davis. I'm not getting. No, nah, Anthony Davis is gonna be on 2020s. Nope, actually he's not. Ah, ah, actually, you can't give him. Nah, nah, he, he ain't gonna be yeah, on. Yeah, give the Pelicans. I give Pelicans to Anthony Davis. I put him on the 2010s team. I'm not gonna have Demarcus Cousins. The Kings. I'm not gonna have Demarcus Cousins. You want Demarcus Cousins? Over who, who was the best center in the league? Damn. No, the center wasn't hidden in the 2010s, but we it had was a... was not. <laughs> they yeah. had Roy, what, Roy Hibbert. Roy, Roy Hibbert. Roy Hibbert. Verticality, oh boy. That's that boy. Verticality, boy. Uh, uh, Joe King Noah. What do you no, mean? Bill Real Land Beer 2.0, bro. DeAndre Jordan had a first team all NBA. So That's did. hilarious. Can't shoot free throws. Dunked over uh, what? Oh. Brandon Knight? There we go. That was a crazy dunk. Brandon Knight took a lot. He took a lot of L's in his life, yeah. But he make money, so he good. He missing a lot um, of centers, bro. I don't know. I'm Who? giving Anthony Davis. Marcin, Marcin Gortat. It is. Whoa, whoa, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. John Wall got that man a bag, boy. John Wall got that man a bag. Uh, uh, that's on waste. A... The best nah. center in the 2010s. He just retired. <laughs> he said, that's how I was. Like, oh, nah. <laughs> that's like 2020. <laughs> oh, that's at the end. There's like COVID. <laughs> I, I would have said Dwight Howard, but he fucked up so many times. Yeah. Tim Duncan? Dunk, Dunk right? He had, he had his time. He had his time. <laughs> Damn! Put that, put that in the two thousand. I'm, I'm giving it to Anthony Davis. There's yeah, no one else that would make yeah, sense. Yeah, give it to Anthony Davis. Yeah. You give it to Anthony yeah. Davis. That was his peak anyway. 2016, yeah. 2017. That's the Pelicans. Anthony Davis. I'll give him. They can play center. I think we got a decent shot. Um, 2020s ball. Who the point guard for 2020s? Can't reuse anybody. Luca. Yeah. Not even close. Next. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not even. Close. To get his guy in there. <laughs> Okay. That yeah, boy uh, Steph Cook. Never mind. Uh, uh, Shoot guard. <laughs> this man got relaxed. Shoot guard. Uh, what was it? Shake? Oh, oh no. Nah, he he's a shake. This is his first year, right? We yeah, got. We ain't got nobody is... else. It's not Booker. It's not D Booker. Booker. I feel like D Booker. Yeah. Booker. yeah. I think Devin Booker clearly the best shooting guard is in this decade. Uh, yeah. Small forward. I think. I think. I say it's the guy Lewis hates the most. Um, oh, uh, I, I thought it was gonna be him, Jason Tatum. Gotta be Jason Tatum. Tatum. Uh, is there anyone else you think? Damn, I ain't no Damon Lillard in, the, in any of this. Nah, he's not going to be over. Yeah, he ain't better than Luke. He can, can kick rocks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about my previous decade, not this one. 2010, he, he I mean, can come into the end, right? I mean, but when you got not, Curry. He's not better than Curry. That boy Curry had a unanimous MVP season. That, yeah. yeah, that boy. It's tough. Boy, he cooked. Yeah. I ain't going to lie, he cooked. It's a middle class version of Curry, you know what I'm saying? Who was a small forward for the 2020s? Should not be Jason all they the small fours on the, on the previous decade. Jason yeah. Tatum made the finals. I assume it should be Jason Tatum. Man, this this boy. I man, feel like there's somebody better than him. This, I guess not. Who is Jason Tatum in this decade? His career. That's not already said. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, Who's I'm just chatting. Small forward. Does he happen yo? I don't know. Oh, Jimmy Butler. No, I'm playing. <laughs> nah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, you might have. No, no, we not do that. Yay! Tobias Harris. Like, Stop, like, yo! <laughs> <laughs> this is what, crazy. Came from Utah Jazz. I don't know if he anyone now. He was Donovan. Donovan? Donovan? Donovan. Donovan. What, what is he? He should be guard. Oh, he could, do you think he's better than Booker? I don't. Oh, that's. I, I'm. Mm. 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 It was close. It was close. <laughs> <laughs> it was, uh, <laughs> Wait, do y'all think? Do y'all think peak? Do y'all think peak Devin Booker is better than peak Bradley Bill though? Big Bradley Bill was just buckets by himself. He was in buckets in hell. Like that man would get peak. all these buckets and, and nothing would nothing would come from it. It's the most got a bag and had a bad back. <laughs> I, I'll <laughs> take a, I'll take Booker over. Booker okay. in the post. Oh my god! Yeah, 
Why? Yeah. Get, get JT, get JT out of there. Get, get him out of there. Get him out of there. Get him out of there. Twenty twenty Kawhi. No way. Twenty twenty's Kawhi. I'm not gonna lie to you. Has not been hitting like twenty tens Kawhi. I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh, he oh won a championship God. in 2019. You haven't seen enough. Oh, bro, that's, a, that's borderline. Come on, yeah. come on, give it to him, bro. Give it to him. Don't do this. It's 2020. Get that out of there. Get JT ass out of there. Get JT the fuck out of here. This man blew a 3 1 lead. This man blew a 3 1 Get the fun guy in there, man. Come on. Bro, my man, look at what is Kawhi Leonard's 2020s look like? That man blowing three one leads. My man injured every man, year. Like man, like his plot is terrible, bro. Like it's not, it's not hitting. I would take Tatum's twenty twenties. No, for Kawhi's twenty twenties, bro. I would. Yeah, I just, just see a like, bunch of a bunch of a bunch of choking. That's what I see. A, a bunch of choking in Tatum. Kawhi blew a three one lead. They blew it. They blew. <laughs> Kawhi got a ring. In the twenty tens, you should put him in the twenty tens. Maybe we we put him in the twenty tens. Do you, do you want to take KD out and put Kawhi in? No, we don't. We went. No, we should count 2019 with 2020. That was in 2019. That was 2018, 2019. So it, was, it didn't touch the 2020. I'm not confident in my team with Tatum. He's he's, he's going to be fooled. There's, gonna be no, be there's no rim protector behind us. It has to be Kawhi, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. I, I, so I, you, I do like Kawhi. Okay, so we're going to have Kawhi for the first three games. And then we'll find someone else. <laughs> That's all I need. That's all I need. That's all I need. We better be on three old boy. Because we have quite a We're fine. We're fine. Okay, who 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 the four? Who's the who's the four? Um Carl Anthony Towns? No. I'm I knew you gonna say that. I knew you gonna say Kevin. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> I you knew you gonna say that. Not too no, much. What about Giannis? Giannis should be somewhere here. Giannis, 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 yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. Giannis, Giannis. is the best player probably of the decade, I'd say. Um, and then the center. Is it Jokic or Embiid? Wimby or Wemby. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> look at that man. No matter what Jokic did okay. in his life, it's Wemby. Look at it. Um, who we thinking? I don't know. Jokic. We're taking, we're Jokic. taking in the man uh, who went to the conference finals. Uh, Cook. Who's won a chip. So I mean, we, we, I'm just, we're just getting past the second round. I'm just taking the man who's been that. <laughs> <laughs> it's Jokic, yo. It's Jokic. Yeah. So who? Who went in, in a seven game series? The, the game Steph Curry, James Harden, LeBron, KD, and Anthony Davis versus Luka Doncic, Devin Booker, Kawhi Leonard, Giannis, and Jokic. I ain't gonna lie, 2020 is good. What a serious point. 2020 is good because Luka on it, right? <laughs> 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 they got LeBron and Curry. That's a, what, the guy, Luka. LeBron. That's a, that's a tough. That's a very Man, they food. I ain't gonna hold you. They, they are all food. I ain't gonna lie. Who food? What are you talking about? You just about? named them, your boy. <laughs> <laughs> they got LeBron, Curry, AD, Harden, and they got Man, uh, 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 we seen it. We seen been there, done that. I'm, I'm like, look, we, we got the LeBron Harden? killer. Look, we seen the man. LeBron, LeBron be like, we seen the CC Kawhi checking in. It's, it's man, over. We call LeBron the goat, and then he talk about some called LeBron killer. And I just don't understand. Oh. That's hilarious. Bro, no. <laughs> He's a okay, morale everybody. killer. He's morale. He's morale. Okay, everybody, okay, so I'm gonna say team 2010s, team 2020s. Raise your hand. We're gonna do a vote. We'll see who y'all think is the best. I'm gonna say the teams first. I'm gonna say the teams again. So I'm gonna hype it up a little more, right? So Steph Curry, greatest shooter of all time. Mm. James Harden, one of the best shooting guards of all time. LeBron James, one of the GOATs, if not the GOAT. KD, one of the best pure scorers in history. And Anthony Davis, an outstanding defender. Anthony Davis could be injured. In this. Could Kawhi Leonard get injured? Anthony Davis could get injured as well. He's very injury prone, but he's a wonderful defender in the paint. And I don't think you're getting the shooting threes version, though. You're not getting the three-point shooting version of Anthony Davis. It's 2020s AD. But no, you're getting you the elite. Are. No, he was no, a better his, shooter. His, his, he was a better shooter in, uh, in, in New Orleans. In the right? bubble. In the, in the bubble he was shooting. I don't know. But hey, whatever. 2020s, you got Luka Doncic, right? One of the best scorers, playmakers we've seen in a very long time. Okay. You got uh, Devin Booker. You got no plot. But you're pretty efficient. <laughs> you got Kawhi Leonard. He's going to play three games. But he is an outstanding player when he played those three games. And then some guy happened to his knee. You got, we put the four, Giannis, who is probably the best player of this decade. And you got Jokic, one of the best, or the best playmaking center of all time. I'm, okay, so I'm going to say 2010s, you raise your hand. I'm going to say 2020s, you raise your hand. All right, raise your hand if you think the 2010s will win this series. I mean, that's hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Man, that man biased. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wear that, wear that shirt proud. <laughs> man, fuck. All right, raise your hand if the twenty twenties go with. Went, 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 went. 
hey, well, there you go, bro. Yeah, you go get three games, Kawhi Leonard, and then Luke and Jokic not gonna be good defenders. And Man, then, I got, I got Giannis. Yeah. If all you need over, to win is four, and you get Giannis three. gonna overpower KD. Of course, and, right. Anthony uh, Davis is scared of Jokic. Let's let's start there. They don't, let, he don't even want to guard him during the playoffs. Luca is cooking stuff. All right, they gonna cook each other. Like, like okay. <laughs> <He's> a, <laughs> I mean, does does hard even play defense besides like stripping the ball and looking away? And like D Book is gonna cook him. So oh, I mean, my only who got, who got the best three point shooting team? Who's the best three point shooting team? Mm. What be Y'all, we got Giannis. Giannis takes us down too much. Yeah. <laughs> and Curry go shoot these threes at forty five percent clip. He got two. He, easy and, playmakers. He just, and you know what? Who we ain't playing. Make it take it. We. <laughs> We ain't playing, make it take it. You gotta get a ball back. You know what I'm saying? My boy Luke is gonna put it's gonna hit you with one. And look, look, I'll tell you, and KD, when he faced Giannis in that second round, KD Ooh. was dropping off them boys at a ridiculous rate. But he Ooh. got too big of a foot and lost all his he got a freaking the Gatorade symbol in that freaking. I still overtime. got Kawhi. This Could man now, was let's not forget this man let's, off. Let's not forget Kawhi. Kawhi will shoot Shaq efficiency, you know what I'm saying, from the jump shots, man. You, that man like, gonna play on. three games. <laughs> All we need is one th- game. That's good. We all we need is we playing one game. We ain't playing a series. What, what y'all think gonna be? Well, it's gonna be. It's gonna be a series. It'll be seven games. Oh, uh, what y'all, what, there you go. <laughs> do, do, do you change your mind? Is, are you still good? Do you change your mind? Are we oh, still, no, I'm still, still, I'm, I'm still staying on the side. What series? Okay, how long? How, how, what's gonna be game six, game seven? How, how long is the series gonna be? Six game series. It's gonna be a gentleman's sweep, man. <laughs> that man crazy. This is sick. We're gonna give y'all one. We'll give y'all one. Y'all. You'll give LeBron a win. I feel it. Um, and I, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say a seven. I'm, I'm gonna respect the other side. But I'm gonna say game seven. We wax them in game seven. Though. Game seven. Yeah. You not met game seven, Luca. This is insane. We may Have you drop met game 60. seven, LeBron. You met game seven, LeBron. Game seven, Luca gonna drop sixty. Gonna win by sixty. Who is that's our bad who side is that I'm really. <laughs> I, I can't lie because we y'all got or we got game seven Harden too. So. That, but Kawhi Kwa- Kwa- not gonna is. play game yeah. seven, so it's fine. Kawhi Kwa- 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 not playing. <laughs> we'll make That's it. Kawhi not whatever. Kawhi not playing. Kawhi not playing in game seven. I I, I'm a uh, before before. This will be this will be the last question I'm asking. <laughs> before before. This, this, that's hilarious. This, this is gonna be the last question I'm asking y'all. But this is this is a question you gotta get in your bag. Remember last week we did something you gotta get in your head, right? We are gonna get in oh. your bag in your head. It's another one. So y'all tell me, as a basketball fan, what is your favorite non championship moment? This is my favorite one. This That's is my favorite NBA. one too. Favorite non championship moment. Yeah, uh, This will be um, my business as a Houston Rocket. Wow. Um, it was very, it was very uh what you call it? It was what 2014, 2015? Oh, good. Yeah. Like coming back, coming back from 3 1 um against the Clippers. Yeah. Yeah. Uh Josh Smith, yeah. Jay Smooth, and Corey mm, Bull yeah. went crazy. While Harden was on the bench, came back from like a 17 point deficit. Um yeah. came back, forced a game seven, uh, went to our first conference uh, finals in, in quite some time. Um, that's been my favorite one because I was one of the first ones like I watched from like start to finish. I was like, mm-hmm. that's when I really started getting into basketball for I was like, you know what? Y'all like y'all, y'all might be on the sun. Cause I took a break once like T Mac left. I was like, man, fuck all this. <laughs> and this happened, I was like, you know what? I'm locked back in. I'm tapped in. I'm tapped back in. So that that's my that favorite. was a that's a special moment. I was gonna say that, but I gotta say something different. But that that, that was a special moment because yes, you better not say mine. You better not say I mine. Oh, I, 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 I gotta let you go first because bro, I was gonna take that Josh Josh Smith and Corey oh, Brewer yeah, scoring bro. outscoring the Clippers in that freaking in that fourth quarter. Those and Josh Smith a terrible shooter, bro. He a terrible shooter, but he was. He's a hell of a his legs, step back. He's shooting the three. I was like, boy, he making all these shots. I, yeah. I turned the TV off. We were down so many points entering the fourth. I turned the TV off. I said, "This is this is done. It's wraps. I hate this team. I hate Mikhail. I'm out." Yep. Yeah. Them, them boy, I woke up. I said, "Boy, we won this stupid game." Boy, I said, "We actually won this game." I was like, "Game seven, they ain't got the plot." I know Game seven, they ain't got the plot. And Chris yeah. Paul jumped out Dwight Howard's back when he was trying to get him to foul Dwight Howard. I'll always remember that for the rest of my life. And that game seven, and Chris Paul leaped on Dwight Howard's back to get him to get to the free throw line, try to get the game close. I'll always remember that. That was a great series. Absolutely. Hey. I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna let you go, Josh. Because I, if I if I go, I don't know. Like I'm gonna let you go, so you can say what you guys say. And I'm, I'm not gonna. Hey, we might. Know. We we. I have a strong feeling that we might have the same uh, moment. 
uh, not to be biased as well, being a Houston Rockets fan. And um, not only that, unfortunately, uh, we don't have championship moments. I was born in 97, so we missed that part, right? Just, just a year or two <laughs> short from that moment, right? So with that being said, the highlight as a, as a young and as a JIT was when T Max scored, I can't remember how many points, forgive me. When yeah. he scored a certain amount of points within a certain amount of seconds. Oh, last minute against, against, the against the San Antonio Spurs. Spurs. Yes. 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 Yeah, take it. I think that's the yeah. same year. I think that's the same year they went like 22 and 0. Is that the same year? I don't know it's the same team. But they the went like 22 yeah. and 0 yeah. undefeated. Yeah, but anyway, that that moment right there. Mm. Nah, T Mac was, was one of them guys, bro. He was like that. He was like yeah. that, man. Yeah, them boys are flat. All the people who left that stadium, bro, they gotta be pissed. They driving home, <laughs> <laughs> and hearing that, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, them team Mac hey, Kobe man. the base used to get nasty. I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. I was on that team Mac side for a hot little minute too. I was like, man, man, man what? What? oh no, oh no. That's hard. What? That's hard. To, yeah, I don't know. I mean, yeah. hey, Kobe said T Mac the best player. Oh four. I was. I forgot. I forgot what he said, but he said something really good about. I think the guard. Tracy McGrady was the hardest player to guard, but we didn't get we didn't get like we got good Trace McGrady, but Orlando Trace McGrady is his super yeah, time. Uh, with yeah, us, yeah. Mm-hmm. he was good, but he kept getting injured, and I was like, "Oh, that's our plot injury plot tough." Mm-hmm. Um, I'm let hey, you made it hard, so I, I got I got I got to think. But Mauricio mm-hmm. Lewis Austin, you, you know, obviously, what's the favorite? And Mauricio, see, it's easy, right? He say, like, "Oh, it's, it's this championship." No, it's this championship. But no, I said not. I said I said not championship. Let me take my rings out. Let me, let, me, let me count which one. Oh, I'm gonna take the pinky one out. I remember this moment. Did Mauricio no, get that with it. I can't even blame him because that's crazy. But I said non championship moment for a reason. So you tell me, what's your favorite non championship moment? That's oh man, because it's just too much winning, bro. You can't even. You can't. Too much winning. <laughs> Um, for me, is especially in very recent times. You know what I'm saying? You might as well get it all, boy. Well. Get might it as off. well. That that draft lottery last of last course. year. It what hit. It, it hit. <laughs> bro, I look, I live streamed that, bro. This man, I think you were in Vegas. I was. I was in Vegas. I was feeling bro, lucky. Plot, he felt lucky, bro. The, I, I'm looking at this, bro. I said, there's no way they give the Spurs this pick, bro. Obviously, they will, but, bro, come on now. Don't That's be rich. that obvious. Don't be that obvious. How they get Webber? They got Tim Duncan. Now they got Webber Yama. That's ridiculous. That makes sense, Marisha. You got a good plan. It's a great moment. It's a great moment. I feel it. I feel it. Yeah. Merry Christmas. <laughs> um, <laughs> Lewis, Sick. Austin, what's your favorite moment? I mean, honorable mention, it's got to be Luka Jock from 73. Shout, shout, uh, sorry, Austin, but... He was just giving y'all straight buckets, <laughs> straight buckets that game. But I think my number one has got to be uh, the two zero comeback uh, when he carried that bum bum ass roster we had around him. Literally bum. We had Dwight Powell at fucking center. Um, That's much on Dwight. My God. I mean, not Dwight. Dwight man, Dwight Powell is. Come on now. Wait, 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 what series is this? What series? Oh, the, the, is it against the, uh, the Suns, right? Yeah, the Suns. The Suns. And oh, yeah, they, yeah. They, got, they got up 2 old. It was like some nasty games. I thought it was over with. And then they came out. I think Luca was like, they, they, they laughed when they were up. You know, they talked when they up. And boy, that next game, the next couple of games, when he started hunting uh, Chris Paul, a little short ass. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that boy started cooking his ass. And that game seven, I'll never forget that no. game seven. Because I'm like, bro, bro oh, we were not man. supposed to go to the conference finals that year. We weren't we, we weren't supposed to like do anything. You no, know what I'm saying? No weren't. And the way they bust their ass on national television, they was talking crazy on Twitter. The Suns fans that were the way they bust their ass, I'll never forget that. No, nah, Chris Paul hit the step back three and it was like, yo, Chris Paul, <laughs> cut it down to 33. I'm like, yo, <laughs> sick. Bro, I, I look at that, bro. Chris Paul got the worst plot in the history of the sport. I'm telling you this. If you didn't know, it is true. <laughs> that man, Chris Paul, is the most cursed player I have ever seen no, in my life. Real. This man went to Golden State, and now they suck. I love that. That is funny. <laughs> <plot>. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I love that. This man, they, and they what, what they say on Twitter, they, find, they give out all-star rings, and this man... Get washed, and that's when they finally giving out rings for the All Star game. He still can't get a ring. That's tough. 
Mm-hmm. Um, they giving rings out Austin. to the That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, but Chris Paul still can't get one. <laughs> Very random. You remember last year, Kanye West randomly said Chris Paul yes, was like, I was just thinking about that. Shit. Yeah, he's like, what? Why? He's, he's like, randomly, like, he said this man sleeping with Kim and show Chris Paul's face. And that was the most random tweet I had ever seen in my life. I said, Chris Paul can't find a way out of bad plot any way he goes. <laughs> and it, like, that man doesn't exist. Yeah, Kanye West was like, yo, Chris Paul fucked my wife. I was like, that is crazy to say on this. Video. <laughs> that is so insane. We immediately was like, Chris Paul? Like, <laughs> what? Christopher Paul? That's crazy. Cliff Paul? What's going on? Cliff. <laughs> Bro, Chris, bro, that, that that's my guy, bro. Hey, Austin, what, what's your favorite, man? What's your favorite moment? I feel like so, I should know this, too. I mean, well, I guess, like, the original moment I had, it wasn't, like, related. It wasn't, like, Hawks related. Um, but um, I'll say that um, – I'll say for me, like, 29 the, – the shot Damian Lillard hit in 2019 that ended mm-hmm. OKC – that mm-hmm. current bird, that that I was like that. okay see with that one shot watching mm-hmm. that live that was just yeah and, and then you look at what he did in 2014 it's like he's probably not gonna win a chip but like just those two moments right there is just like historic wow. and it, um, it is so many moments. yeah and but I mean Hawks related I mean it's very easy you know that whole yeah. 2021 run you know <laughs> Ben Simmons losing his mind yeah I feel like. yeah that <laughs> just it, it wasn't so and then that that really kind of fucked us over because we thought we were closer than we were. It's been five hundred ever since. Um, but that whole run was a uh, was fun to see, even though even though we definitely made the the wrong choice in twenty eighteen. You know, Trey and Luca, Trey Young is very good. Uh, at least at least you admit that. I know I told you that last year. I'm happy that you um, admit that Luca should have been a hawk, but that's fine. Trey Young is a good player. I just, I just hate, like, I hate for you that Luca had the hat that said Hawks on it, and that just exists. Yes. That picture exists, but he's not playing basketball. For yeah, that but, but I'm not, and you know, the Hawks have a, a history of just fuck ups like that. So I, I, I kind of, I'm a fan. I'm kind of like a, I'm a fan from a distance. Like I'm not that. I feel it. I, I, like I root for you know, I'm from Georgia and shit. I fuck with Trey Young, but like, yeah, look, well, yeah. Fun fact, not that night, I, I actually knew we were gonna get Luca because. He was a great made, European I mean, player. Especially like it just made it just made sense. Like y'all had yeah. dirt for twenty years. Like Luca right. wasn't didn't just he didn't. Luca in Atlanta, it's like he ain't, he ain't vibing with Quavo like that, man. Yeah, like culture wise, <laughs> like city wise, it just made sense. Like we got our guy, y'all got your guy. It we ideally in a perfect scenario, like we could get a finals matchup, but that's not gonna happen because. Man, he don't believe in his plot. Like, I we, feel we never, I mean, we never got LeBron and Kobe in the finals to really kind of settle. Dang, the white, white Howard like, ruined that. Was, that yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Two thousand nine, Dwight Howard. Yeah, was, yeah, the white. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say my favorite moment, and it's like I'm not even really moment. It's just like I can't even say moment, but like the 2017, 18 Rockets, and y'all remember this Rockets team? Now, not the ending. I, the ending is obviously an awful. It's the worst moment. But, bro, the, the journey that team put me through of just how dominant they were against the opponent. Because we yeah. just had we, – we lost terrible to this freaking stupid Spurs in that second round. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah he smiled. Was it Manu right Ginobili? Manu yeah, Ginobili, the block. Harden. Yeah. Bro, I went to the strip club oh, immediately geez. after. I'm like, <laughs> Damn, bro. Man. And I was so pissed and upset. But I said this in the offseason. I said, bro, y'all, the Spurs should get Chris Paul. Because I felt like it made sense, right? And then they say Chris Paul got traded to the Rockets. I said, "Oh, f the Spurs! I get Chris Paul. That's cool." And then little everybody, everybody like, bro, they only have one basketball. How are they gonna? How are they gonna gel, Chris and Harden? They're not gonna play well together. There's only one ball. I said, "Bro, it's Chris Paul." I had who was my point guard before him? I don't even remember. I don't remember my point guard. From, Patrick Beverly. That's who it was. Pat, Patrick man. Beverly. It was hard. It was hard. It was hard. It was, it was, hard. Hard. It was hard. And then it became hard. And then and the then shooting Lou guard is Patrick Will. Beverly. And then Lou Will, <laughs> Lou Will will come off the bench. Um, That's not good enough. Lua was a bucket. That's not good enough. I read him. But but we but look in the second when we we had to trade him to the Clippers to get Chris. We had to trade a lot of people to Clippers. We Should get Chris Paul, G. bro. We we ran the freaking league, bro. We went on a fourteen game win streak, lost a little bit. Went on a seventeen game win streak, lost to the Spurs randomly. Then went on an eleven game win streak. <laughs> Meaning if we that? beat the Spurs, we would have won like thirty games in a row. We were waxing teams, beat and no one, and nothing mattered. I was just like, bro. I got to be Golden State. And the one moment I remember the most, I don't know if y'all remember this too. Remember we faced the Clippers, right? And Chris, James Harden didn't play, but Chris Paul and Blake Griffin had beef. 
and the boys are going back and forth. And it was like, and then I think Chris Paul went to the back to find Blake Griffin so they can like have a fight. I forgot, I forgot what how that materialized, but that was hilarious, right? We faced him again. Harden wasn't playing the first time. We played him again. James Harden does a cross up. My man, I was a Wesley Matthews falls to the ground. Yeah, James Harden awesome. looks at him, licks yeah. his lips, <laughs> shoots a three, hits it. The score is twenty eight to seven. I said, "Boy, we running the NBA, boy." I was <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we picked up Joe Johnson like after the trade deadline too. I remember that. And, and we had our team like Joe Johnson. I was like, but well, I want everybody because I was I trying to run it. Gerald Green, we had them all, man. Oh Gerald my god, Gerald Green was my guy, boy. Two K, two K fire. Two K. We was beating everybody. I, I literally was three people we lost. Like there was four people from January, late January to the end of the year. It was four people we lost to. I literally could tell you on one hand who we, we lost to. Like I, it, it was simple. We beat Golden State, but we always beat them in the regular season. We like the Bills. We beat the, the hard team in the regular season. Like, they beat the Chiefs in the regular season. Then we lose in the postseason. Piss me off. And then, obviously, the ending to that is the worst ending of all time. But I appreciate the ride. It's a great I journey. look at the Rockets. I look at the Rockets now, and I say I appreciate those, those moments. Harden win his first MVP after they kept holding him for years. Now, obviously, number one would definitely would have been that Josh Smith thing. But I had to – and then, obviously, the Tracy Grady thing is great. But I had to divert – to just the whole journey of the 2017-18 Rockets until game seven. I was happy up to game five. Up to game five, I was happy in that series. And Chris Paul got hurt, which is rough. Um, well, that's it, though. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't divert because if I divert to that, I'm definitely going to be on the tangent. You don't want to hear me hear me on the tangent of me losing on my birthday. Um, <laughs> that's, that's rough. That's rough plot. We agree that's the worst moment in Houston sports history. I, I, I feel like that should be a common thing. Like, is that Bro, I actually, I ha- actually have footage of my twin brother shedding tears when that happened. Like, we was clowning him so bad. I felt him though. But I was like, "Damn, bro, it's not that serious." You like, bro, we just never won, bro. Like, <laughs> bro, damn, damn. Bro, like, it's close, <laughs> Hey, I must hate that nigga, Steph. All right, bro. Damn. I hated, bro, I hated that nigga. Team. My God! I hate it. Nah, oh. was it? Wait, was oh it that the year old Manu Ginobili? Was it? Which which year was that? Manu Ginobili. Ginobili was Ginobili was 2017. Oh, okay, 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 okay. And then the next year, yeah, when we missed them threes, bro, that was on my birthday. Oh, bro. Oh. I will always remember. That's uh, my step in. Step in. Live by the three, die by the three. Damn, and, y'all and the dead. Thing, I looked. I looked at the schedule for them games. I saw game seven. Uh, game one. I was like, okay, game one's that game. Game seven, <clears> May 28th. I said, bro, why game seven gonna be? Why why game seven against that team gonna be on my birthday? Why it's they gonna do that to me? Buddy. <laughs> oh, your birthday May 28th? My birthday, May 28th, 20, and every year on that day, they're gonna show you five years ago, six years ago, <laughs> the Rockets missed 27 straight threes at lock. Every year, that's the reminder on my birthday. That's a stupid that's a, thing. My, my wife's birthday, May 28th. That's crazy. Hey, shout out. <laughs> um, but she obviously not she about the Rockets game. fan. <laughs> She, no, just right she, she probably was she all Houston. Yeah, she she from Houston. So yeah. Oh, she is. Oh, shit. Oh, hey, welcome. I, to I, I turned over to the Cowboys. I told her we ain't doing any Houston Texas shit in this house. This is Cowboys. You know. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. I don't, I don't play that in this house. We will say the Lord and we will be Cowboy fans. I don't play that. This man, this man put the law down <laughs> to have that bad plot. We all have that plot. That's, that's, that's what we do on Thanksgiving. No, we. Ain't, uh, we definitely have no division rivals. Uh-uh. I will kick you out of my family. For sure, for sure. Hey, man. Hey, more power to you. <clears throat> hey, man. That's the podcast. Hey, thank you all for joining. Uh, we are on the road to 1,000. We're here at 602. Uh, with my man Sean. Oh, yeah. Hey, he is a Rockets fan, though. My man is a Rockets fan. Certified. Uh, <laughs> the little difference. Certified. Certified. <laughs> Hell, yeah. My man, my man is a Rockets fan. I am so sorry that we lost for you, bro. <laughs> I'm so sorry we couldn't get one. We couldn't bring one home. I beat it, Robert Reed, man. That's a Robert Reed uh, autograph. He just passed away, man. It's crazy. Oh, man. Oh, Robert Reed. Oh, the okay. one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 man. RP to him. Yo, that's a right. Hey, one day, one day, but that 2018, that was the moment. That was supposed to be it. I ain't going to get into it, though. So yeah, thank you guys right for watching. <laughs> thank you guys for watching the podcast. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this video. My man is repping the Rockets gear. He got the Astros gear. He's Houston down. So hopefully we can bring him something of relevance in the coming future <laughs> within the next couple of years. Jeez. And hey, but we all going to be bound, to, bound down to Wemby, right? Because look at my man Wemby season, right? You know, bound down to Wemby because he got the plot. Awesome. It's fine. Well, hey, but we'll take it. But hey, for more content, we're going to put a lot of content in March. We got March Madness. We got the NFL Free Agency. 
Is Saquon Barkley gonna be a Texan? I don't know. We'll see. Um, <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not gonna say nothing. I don't know. Let the plot say it. Uh, <laughs> and uh, uh, opening days also. So baseball is gonna be coming late in the um, so, late in the month. So we got a lot coming in March. So we are gonna get lit in March. Say, go Rangers. You follow us. I put all. Yeah. I put all the links in the description. <laughs> he said, he said, hey, go hey. Rangers. Hey. Stop. Yeah, I don't know. Hey, you already know what happened. It's okay. Though. No, no, I don't know. I, 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 I you already know what happened. That man gonna put me in a tangent. I'm not gonna do this right now. But we will definitely do this. Yeah, you come back with a baseball file. We gonna be doing something. But this man gonna put me the whole tangent. Yeah, we catch you on the next video, and we are out of here. Peace.